Hello guys, how are you doing? Uh, welcome back. Uh, this is um, just a, a small uh, selection of models that we've got coming up uh, in the current, uh, or sorry, upcoming eBay sale, which starts uh, Saturday 22nd of June at 10 o'clock. Uh, three to 400 lots of Matchbox toys and a few other little bits and pieces, uh, predominantly, you know, the super fast years. Um, so uh, yeah, we thought we'd uh, do this little sneaky preview for you. Uh, in the middle of uh, uh, listing um, at the moment and we thought we'd just focus on a few sort of you know sort of more interesting pieces really uh, got um, another just fantastic array of sort of Bulgarian stroke Hungarian models these seem to be so so popular at the moment and, and guys they're running out you know there's there's, there's not an endless source of these and just a, just a few little uh, uh, half a dozen or so in the, in, in the foreground there. Uh, I've, I've picked out a few of the sort of more desirable ones. You've got a couple of BMWs. We've actually got five or six in the sale this week. A couple of Mercedes here, the um, convertible and the 300 SE. And of course the Lamborghini uh, Maiora. Uh, so, so popular at the moment. Thought we'd feature a couple of the uh, the purple tankers. These are the uh, Namak tankers, the collectors association tankers. I've put these in, in, the, uh, in the frame because Basically, I think the colour of these, that sort of purple, is absolutely stunning. And these two particular examples are absolutely dead mint. They, they really, really are. So if you can bag those, uh, well done. Uh, in the back top left, the Teletape bus, which is certainly, you know, one of the um, harder uh, sort of uh, buses to find. Um, I think I've only ever had one Sellotape uh, bus before, uh, so that one's worth bagging. And I think we just um, just talk a few, about a few of these pre-pros here. Um, I'll start with the one in the top middle. This is the Mercury, um, well, police stroke fire car. Uh, and this one I've had um, on the market for a few months now. Uh, and, um, you know, put it at a realistic price, but, um, you know, it didn't, it didn't get bagged. Um, so we're going to try an auction format, guys. You know, if you if if you if you follow me, if you look at my website and my eBay sales, you know I've had this out to market. You know what I was asking for it. Uh, paid a lot of money for it. This cost me over four figures. Uh, it was from the Danny James sale um, last year. Probably paid too much for it. But hey, listen, this is only one of two that's known about in the whole world. So. You know, this is probably the only chance you're gonna you're gonna get it. You know, if there are more out there, then please, guys, get in touch. But this is, I say, you know, there's only two that I know of. Uh, and if you look on the base here, it's, I'm just showing you this because, um, you know, you have the the incomplete uh, part number there, which is always a good sign of a pre-production. And the other thing is, it is absolutely just dead mint absolutely perfect and if you notice as well it's got the five arch wheels rather than the dot dash so really really good piece uh, we have up here the white Renault um, I've had this model before again absolutely stunning condition don't think I can fault that one and again if you look at the base uh, nice silver base there again without the part number incomplete date stamp always a good sign of a of a pre-production because um, I, I won't get into my normal sort of uh, chat about you know the bodgers and fakers out there uh, and, e and even they're faking this sort of stuff but guys you can always tell and uh, say we will talk about that a bit more uh, in future videos uh, forklift truck here uh, silver this is um, sort of a later issue here with the built-in um, steering wheel so we're not going to class that as a pre-production uh, that's more of a color trial but again you know funky little color in silver why they produce it in silver we don't know uh, this one the um, the wheeze was very interesting uh, because um, you know this is the bronze which is normally the badger color and uh, this is referred to as a pre-production to me it isn't um, I, I'm not sure if it's a colour trial, but we, you know, we like to call call it that in the industry. Uh, and when I've had these before, you know, we've listed it as colour trials. Um, but it's the colour of the the badger, which came out at the same time. You had, you had the badger, the weasel, the stoat, etc. Um, they, they sort of made up military vehicles um, that they'd done in these funky metallic colours. You know, very very 70s. But if you look underneath there, it does have the metallic green base. So. You know, this could have been this could have been a muck up at the factory, guys. You know, th 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 these could have been. I've known this before. Well, a batch of these these castings go down the wrong paint booth, and they end up being sprayed. You know, uh, the bronze uh, badger colour rather than the metallic green. But you know, whatever the reason, you know, it's a funky colour. 
it's well sought after you know um these have always been you know two three you know 400 quid on a good day and this one as well quality wise is is absolutely banging um so worth bagging that one uh then we move on to the amx uh this is quite a a late issue actually uh and this is this is just before um you know unfortunately that you know that the leslie corporation went bust and um production went to um uh, macau you know matchbox in international uh but this was one of the uh, ones that was going to be uh, made here and so this only exists as a, as, as a pre-production uh with uh, with an england base and, and there you see it is you know made in england um and uh, this funny enough if you look underneath had a white base coat and then they sprayed it silver and, and i said i've seen this on a few models pre-production models and standard issues um i think sometimes it's to do it you know, they do it because you know you get a nice depth of color and i think you agree it has so another worm worth bagging um this one i really really do like actually um, you know, I've always been a fan of these early 70s um, sort of cars uh, and uh, to get the uh, the beach hopper beach buggy in this sort of lime green is it's a, that's a lovely colour. Shame it wasn't released in that. Uh, Grey driver there which uh, I've, you know you don't see on production models. Early version with the, uh, the, uh, the glass there. Uh, but the important thing is when you look underneath, one it has an orange base but if you look it has the super fast branding all the standard ones were released as rollermatic um so yeah a very very good uh, again I, I wouldn't sort of quite say it's pre-production uh it's, cer it's certainly a trial and, and i think you know a full a, a small amount were released before they went properly to market with the super fast base but of course then sort of at 72 73 you know they they, they come up with the rollermatic brand um very very good condition a few little uh, marks in it but overall very very nice piece and lastly on the pre-pros we have the diesel shunter uh, not the most exciting models you know in, in you know in a lot of people's opinions but you know there you go uh, but this is a you know quite funky in red uh, pre-production it's got the inner sort of metal base there with the inner plastic base um, so uh, yeah so these will all be coming to market uh, this saturday um you know for those who are on the mailing list you'll get any you get an email if you haven't already um so thanks for watching and take care see you soon ta-da